So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Jira Spatial. Today, I will show you how to create a topographic witness index using a model builder and making your workflow, workflow completely automated. So let's get started. Let me add, let me add my dem file into the RGS. Go to that section, add data, click the dem file, add. So this is our dem file. So let me create a model for that. Go to the Arc Toolbox section. Go to the Arc Toolbox. Right click. Add a toolbox. So here, go to the section called New Toolbox. Now enter the name, name of the tool. Let me enter Topographic. Topographic Fitness Index. Now click the now click the tool topographic witness index and open and wait for some time get added into yeah it's now it's added into our put our toolbox go to this topographic witness index right click and new a model now let us start creating a model for Topographic Witness Index. And before that, let me enter the name. Go to the model para parameters. That is model. Uh, first, go to the model. Model properties. Go to the name. Enter as Topographic Witness Index. Now enter the model label. Now click OK. So I have made a mistake. Let me check what is the mistake. Make sure that in label section you give some space. Similarly, in name section, don't give space. Let me remove the space. So now, click OK. So let's get started to our building our model. Now go to the search section. Now enter flow direction. Now search. So flow direction spatial analyst. Let me click and drag this. This is our flow direction tool. Now let me add another tool. It is flow accumulation. So click flow accumulation spatial analyst. Click and drag. So let me connect the flow direction and flow accumulation using the connect. Click the connect. Click the output flow direction raster into flow accumulation. Input flow direction raster. Go to the arrow section. Let me choose an arrow. Now, right click, choose, go to make variable parameters as the input surface raster. So we have an input surface raster. So let's get further. So go to the search section, enter as slope. Go to the slope spatial analyst. Drag the spatial analyst tool into our model builder. 
Similarly, go to the connect section, connect output accumulation raster to slope as an input raster. So now let's go to search raster calculator. So click the raster calculator spatial analyst. Click and drag. So this is our raster calculator tool. So now click the raster calculator. Now let us enter a recipe formula. So let's get into our uh, so let me make some changes. Cancel. Go to the slope section. Right click. Go to the rename. Enter as slope raster. Now click OK. So now let's get into the raster calculator tool. So now let us enter our recipe formula. So click the brackets, double click the slope raster, multiplying 1.5 zero seven nine six close bracket divided by 90 so let's click OK so again let's go to the search section search by raster calculator so go to the raster calculator special analysis now drag this tool into our model builder so let us get into this raster calculator now we're going to enter another formula so let me rename, so cancel this, go to the output raster, that is raster calculator, this one, right click, rename, rename as a slope. Now click OK. So, so I already have used the name, so let me make some changes. Let me enter as slope final. Now click OK. Now get into the raster calculator to double click. So let us enter the, the recipe formula for this. Go to the condition, double click. Now click the slope final. Now, go to this section, enter the symbol, slope final is greater than 0. Now, go to the other side of the comma, so go to this section called map, and in trigonometry, select tan. Now, select slope final. Now enter comma 0 0.001 Now click OK 
So let me rename this raster cow. This one, right click, rename. So let me rename as tan slope. Now click OK. Now again, go to the search section, go to the raster calculator spatial analysis and drag. Go to the raster calculator 3. Now click output accumulation raster. Now click the brackets, now plus 1, close bracket, multiplying the cell size. So let me check the cell size of this dim. So let me click the OK for now. So now check the cell size of my dim, right click, properties. Go to the source. So this is my cell size of my dem. So copy it, control C. Now click OK. Now go back to the raster calculator 3. Double click it. So now paste the cell size. Control V. So let me click so now let me click ok so now let me rename this raster calculator to as a flow accumulation final or FA final FA means flow accumulation. Now click OK. So the last step of this procedure and again go to the search section. Go to the raster calculator, spatial analysis, drag. Let me arrange this. So this is our last procedure. So let me get into the raster calculator 4. Go to the section in conditional weight. Uh, go to the math section. Click LN. L N. Double click. So select flow accumulation final. That is FA final. Double click it. So, divided by tan slope. Enter the symbol divide by tan slope. Double click. So, let me click OK. So, the procedure for creating a topographic fitness index using a model builder is complete. Now, let me uh, Go to the section called Auto Layout. Click the Auto Layout. So, let me add a DEM file into our model builder. Double click. Select our DEM. Click OK. Now our model is ready to go. Now let me check. Now right click, enter as model parameter. And here let me rename this as input dem. Now click OK. So now let us test 
whether our model is working. For that, go to the section called Validate Entire Model. Go to the section called Save. Save your model. Let me save the MXD. So let me run the model. So our model has succeeded. So let me close this. Let me check the output raster. Let me minimize the model builder. So right click the raster calculator 3. Go to the properties. Go to the symbology classified. Natural breaks. Okay. Now click apply. Okay, so we have a topographic witness index created using our model builder. So in this way, you can able to prepare all your uh, works using a model builder and making it completely and automated. In this way, you can able to minimize your time and maximize your efficiency. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the Rust Special and comment for any queries. Thank you for watching.